India's Ganga and Yamuna rivers had human identities well before they were given rights in 2017. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Ganga, the river herself, is one who purifies and cleanses the soul from its sins. The Yamuna, whom Hinduism says is the sister of the god of death, is a goddess who frees bodies from the suffering through death. So it's no surprise that India became the second country in the world in 2017 to grant its sacred rivers the same legal rights as human beings. That's not all. This happened in the land of gods itself, the state of Uttarakhand, bordering the Himalayas, where both rivers or goddesses take their source. The move was inspired by the fight of the native people of New Zealand, the Maoris, who fought for the personhood status to be granted to their sacred Wang Nui River. For no less than 140 years, the motive for both cases, protection from pollution, from reckless development, and all of the aggression which endanger the natural ecosystems. In 2011, Bolivia, the tiny South American nation, with one of the highest indigenous populations, had already gone further. It gave the personhood rights to Mother Earth. The country established 11 rights for nature, including the right to life, the right to pure water and clear air, and the right not to be polluted. Environmental groups pushing to give legal rights to natural entities say that they are not property and therefore cannot be treated as belonging to the state, trusts or individuals. Academics have argued that we have to endow natural ecosystems and all their elements with the same basic rights that we ourselves, humans of the natural world, have. They advance that single, many legal systems recognize the legal rights of non-human entities, including local government bodies, corporations, etc. And there is a case for similarly recognizing nature in its entirety as someone with rights. We're talking about this because after the Ganga, the Amazon River of the South American continent has been recognized as an entity subject of rights by the government of Colombia. What does it mean? It basically means that the rainforest and the river have been granted the same legal rights as a human being. This is what environmental groups have been pushing for in a desperate bid to stop the rampage of climate change. Take a look at this report. 6,000 kilometers across five South American countries. This is the expanse of the Amazon River, the second largest in the world. South Americans call it the lungs of the Americas. The Amazon and its rainforests cross Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador and Bolivia. These countries have centered much infrastructure development around the river's basin. Because the Amazon is rich, fisheries, mining, tourism, hydroenergy, but also in thousands of species of fish, fauna and flora. Considering the millions of inhabitants which depend upon it for their livelihoods, this is what the Colombian youths who lodged a complaint with their country's highest court wanted to protect. But from what, one may ask. The short answer, deforestation, the Amazon's biggest killer. The rainforest is being consistently raised for crops, for timber, for cattle farming. All of this is increasing carbon dioxide emissions. All of this is slowly killing everything connected to the river. The ruling made by the Colombian High Court is the first of its kind in South America. So can it prevent the slow death of the Amazon, which is now an entity with the same rights as humans? What that is likely to do is give conservation agents serious tools to thwart developments that harm the Amazonian ecosystem. The government too now has to not only bear direct responsibility for any harm done, but also actively help stall the destruction of the Amazon and its forests, which in Colombia alone increased by 44% in 2015-2016. Declaring rights for the majestic Amazons for its defenders is a historic change but also a powerful tool to help conserve forests and counter climate change. The Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund, CELDF, supported the Colombian group De Justicia in securing the Amazon's legal rights. This is just one of the many steps the organization is taking to push for legal systems which protects the rights of nature throughout the world. The CLDF says, quote, 
The collapse of ecosystems and species, as well as the acceleration of climate change, are clear indications that a fundamental change in the relationship between humankind and the natural world is necessary. We must secure the highest legal protections for nature through the recognitions of rights." Unquote. In addition to granting personhood rights to the Amazon, the court has also ordered Colombia to create a comprehensive plan within the next four months to address deforestation and climate change. Arabella Sibalak, WEON.